and welcome back to Breathe Easy. So this week's theme is our story with cystic fibrosis. So let's just get started. So I was first diagnosed when I was three months old. Newborn screening wasn't around when I was younger, so I wasn't diagnosed straight away when I was born. So I developed a cold and a really bad cough when I was three months old and I hadn't really gained any weight since I was born. So my mum took me to the GP and he took a look at me and called an ambulance to take me to the hospital. And while I was there, I was put on a, like a, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a kind of ventilation oxygen box around my head because obviously I was such a small baby, they couldn't put an oxygen mask on me. So it had to be like a box around my head. And I had to have a feeding tube through my nose. I spent 10 days in hospital, so I missed my first ever New Year's Eve and the doctors didn't really know if I was going to survive. They had to keep turning up the oxygen because my sats kept dropping even though I was being given like quite a lot of oxygen. On one of the like last few days, one of the doctors like walked past my bedroom and just like, kind of walked in and had a look at me. He thought it might be cystic fibrosis, so he suggested they um, test me for it and it came back positive. So they started treating me straight away with antibiotics and like all that jazz. So yeah, when I was um, discharged from hospital, I had to switch to solid food straight away so I could gain weight and so that I could start having Creon in my food to help digest it and put on weight. I was relatively healthy, like, through all of my childhood. I only needed IV antibiotics once when I was two years old. I did a lot of exercise. I did gymnastics five times a week for about two or three hours each day and I started trampolining as well. My health started to decline a little bit when I turned kind of 12, 13, because that's when my physio started to be like controlled by me. So up until when I was like 11 or 12, my parents did manual percussion on me, which is basically, I lie down on their lap and they basically like hit me <laughs> and it was really horrible. I got so many bruises and it was so painful. Um, obviously it had to be done twice a day, every day. Um, so yeah, when I turned 13, I started doing breathing techniques and um, I was given an acapella to use and I just didn't want to do it at all. I kind of stopped doing all my physio and yeah, the last time I consistently did physio every single day was when I was 11 or 12, which is really bad. When I was 13, that was my first IV antibiotics that I can actually remember having, but I didn't need to stay in hospital because my hospital didn't have an inpatient ward. It was like all outpatients. Um, so I was trained, like me and my mum were trained how to do <coughs> my antibiotics. And then I just did it. And then I just did it at home by myself for two weeks. That was in February of 2011. And then in September, October time in 2011, I was diagnosed with ABPA, which stands for Allergic Bronchopulmonary Aspergillosis. It's a really long word, which is basically a fungal infection <coughs> in my lungs, but it's like an allergic reaction to the fungus in the air. I had prednisolone steroid, tablets for it um, and I was on them for about five years and that made me gain weight like crazy and then because of the steroids I was also diagnosed with cystic fibrosis related diabetes. After about five years the ABPA kind of got settled. It didn't go completely but it was kind of maintained and I wasn't feeling very much effects from it but then a year ago I think, um, it flared up again. I refused to have the steroid tablets because I didn't want 
to gain loads of weight again. I was just put on iconazole tablets. I was first admitted to the hospital for inpatient antibiotics last year in June when I was 17 and then I was admitted also in May of this year and then September of this year. I consider myself to be quite healthy with CF. I know loads of people have it so much worse than me and I'm really grateful that I'm so well. So that was my story with cystic fibrosis. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to turn on the notifications. It's that little bell symbol just next to the word subscribe. Don't forget to follow all of our social medias. They'll be in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's all Katie. I will see you next week on Breathe Easy. Bye.